a story of survival from the newest member of the WKOW family. Daxton is the son of 27 News anchor Amber Noggle and her husband Dustin. Tonight, Danny Maxwell shares the story of Daxton's fight to live. Hi, honey. Becoming a parent is an adventure. Oh, you're so <laughs> cute, buddy. And answering your child's every call. You know, there's been... Oh. Is that him? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just hold him and he'll be okay. Is just part of the fun. I'll see him when he starts getting fussy. Getting to the fun part took just a bit for Amber Noggle and her husband Dustin. 20 weeks pregnant, doctors told them their son had a severe congenital heart defect called Tetralogy of Fallot. He was missing a valve that takes blood from his heart to his lungs, and his heart had a hole in it. And I don't think that I heard anything after that. Shocking news, even for someone who knew all about heart defects in children. Working with the American Heart Association for years, Amber became passionate about telling people's heart stories. I had interviewed a number of families who had been down this road. She never suspected she would ever have to go down that road. But little Dax would need open heart surgery one week into life. We didn't get to feel like it was a normal pregnancy. Amber's pregnancy wasn't normal, and neither was Dax's birth. He came early, at 36 weeks. And because of his critical condition, Amber and Dustin only got to see him for a minute before Dax was hooked up to machines that helped him breathe and monitored his heart. It was hard to be carrying a baby for nine months, and then you, you don't get to hold him and bond with them. Complications made him more fragile, an infection around his heart, jaundice, seizures. His heart rate would drop. He would stop breathing. I don't think we could have imagined how hard it was actually going to be. Um, and when there's nothing that you can do, and he's just so helpless. But Dax, a fighter from the start, got well enough for surgery by his 11th day. Doctors were able to make a full repair of his heart, closing the hole and fitting him with a valve large enough to last him a few years. All these wires, as they started slowly coming off, it was like a new, a new birth again of our child. There were so many miracles happening for him. Strong little heartbeat. Meeting Dax now, you wouldn't know all he's been through. Dax has done great. I mean, he looks really phenomenal. He's growing hair like nobody's business. <laughs> Dax will now get regular checkups from his pediatric cardiologist, Dr. Carter Ralph, with UW Health. That to me look really good. Who says the little boy will be encouraged to lead a very normal life. He was the only one who could do it, you know, with the help of the doctors. And they said, you know, he has to be the one to get through this. He wanted to be in this world, that's for sure. He did. The cardiology program at UW Health and American Family Children's Hospital has been gaining patients the last 10 years because research shows that the outcomes are better than the national average and some of the best when it comes to neonates. Amber told me 10 years ago they might have been referred to Milwaukee, so they were glad to be close to home. Dr. Ralph says open heart surgery at such a young age is a very scary thing. The survival rate of babies with Tetralogy of Fallot is extremely good, more than 95%. And of course, we're happy to have Amber back with us. Absolutely.